You know, the reason I do these old actresses is because this is what I grew up on. And I love the style and the grace that they had, regardless to what their religion was, color, creed, and all this other stuff. Uh, I ain't pay any attention to it. I just grew up on it. And I thought the movies and the plots were great. This young lady's name is Joan Crawford. She was born as Lucille Faye Lassour on March the 23rd, 1900. And she passed away May the 10th, 1977. Was an American actress. She started her career as a dancer in traveling theatrical companies before debuting on Broadway. Crawford was signed to a motion picture contract by Metro Goldwyn-Mayer in 1925. Initially frustrated by the size and quality of her parts, Crawford launched a publicity campaign and built an image as a nationally known flapper by the end of the 1920s. By the 1930s, Crawford's fame rivaled MGM colleagues Norma Shearer and Greta Garbo. Crawford often played hard-working women who find romance and financial success. These rags to riches stories were well received by Depression era audiences and were popular with the women. Crawford became one of Hollywood's most prominent movie stars and one of the highest paid women in the United States. But her films began losing money by the end of the 1930s, she was labeled box office poison. After an absence of nearly two years from the screen, Crawford staged a comeback by starring in Mildred Pierce in 1945, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. In 1955, she became involved with the Pepsi-Cola Company through her marriage to company president Alfred Steele. After his death in 1959, Crawford was elected to fill his vacancy on the board of directors, but was forced to retire in 1973. She continued acting in film and television regularly through the 1960s when her performances became fewer. After the release of the horror film Trog in 1970, Crawford retired from the screen. She withdrew from public life and became increasingly reclusive until her death in 1977. Crawford married four times. Her first three marriages ended in divorce. The last ended with the death of husband Al Steele. She adopted five children, one of whom was reclaimed by his birth mother. Crawford's relationship with her two older children, Christina and Christopher, were acrimonious. Crawford disinherited the two, and after Crawford's death, Christina published a tell-all memoir, Mommy Dearest. Her name was Joan Crawford. She is another documentary. Peace and love, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.